Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be making some more miniature items for our dollhouse. So, I have a lot of stuff here, see? A lot of stuff. But, we're going to have fun. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with a thimble. Okay? Isn't that cute? You can get them anywhere. Okay? And you're going to take some toothpicks. Okay? Toothpicks. And then you need some markers. Any colors you want. We're going to be making colored pencils. So, just trying to line everything up so you can see perfectly. Okay, so basically, what you want to do is take your toothpick, like so, and you want to start at the tip. And start coloring but you don't want it perfect because you know when you use your pencil sharpener it's not a perfect cut so then you want to go down your toothpick and color it all in with the color you want How cool is that? Does that not look like a small pencil? So you want it to fit into your itty bitty symbol. So you're going to cut your pencil. Thank goodness it didn't shoot away. And there you go. There's one pencil in there. So I'm going to show you again. They don't all have to be the same size or anything. So I have red, and I'm going to do the point of the red. Such a simple, easy craft. Your, your children would love to do this with you, and it's fun and easy and very inexpensive so that you can put this in your dollhouse. There you go. So I'm going to do a couple more and I'll come back and show you what my thimble looks like with different pencils in there. Here's your itty bitty pencils. How cute are they? I don't know if you can see them. Aren't they cute? So I'm going to stick them in my thimble. So here they are. And then I have this cute little button that I've had forever. And it's um, a mushroom. So I am going to take my hot glue and I'm going to put this right on here to jazz it up a little bit. It's all about the little things in the dollhouses so I just think that is really scrumptious. You can put a ribbon around it, you can do whatever you want. It's awesome. Okay, so now we're going to make a cabinet. And I have these very thin sticks from, I don't even know what tree, I'll be honest, in my yard. And I want to make a cabinet, but I didn't want this video to be like forever long like my other video. So I started without this. So basically, you want to make your cabinet is going to be second from top to bottom about three and a half inches long and two inches wide so it'll be three inches long by two inches wide for the back for the side it's going to be a little over a half an inch a little over a half and the top I have at two almost two and a half okay so there is that 
then for the doors, I have two doors here, and they are three and a half by a little over one inch. So you need two doors. I also have two buttons to use as my handles. And I want to make kind of a point at the top. So these little guys are about two and a half inches long by a half an inch for this. And then I have the shelves that are going to go inside. And my shelves are one and a little over one and a half inches long. So what I'm going to do is see how this fits in here just perfect right like that. I'm going to put some glue on that but I want to put this one right about here. So I'm going to add some glue to my shelf just like that. And I'm going to hold it because it's a little short. And you kind of want to make sure it's even. And I'm going to hold it for a couple seconds. And we all know I take waiting not very well. So I'm trying to hold it till the glue dries. Okay. Then I have this one, which is a little longer. And I'm going to put glue on both sides, just like that, and I'm going to stick it in. I don't want it all the way at the bottom, and if you've seen that this came apart, so I need to add some more glue right here and hold it longer. I say patience is a virtue. I am just a hot mess with no patience. So when you're looking at it, just make sure that everything lines up and try to get it so it's straight and I'm going to add some more glue here and more glue over here some here because it is not holding and then I'm going to squish it together just like that try to get it as straight as possible okay so now you, you have the beginning of a little cabinet and see how it stands up just like that kind of awesome so I'm gonna do the the little pitch for here and I am basically going to put some glue right here and I'm going to put it right here just like that try to get it so it's in the middle but I'd like a little hanging off. And then you want to do this side. So I'm going to add some glue right here and hold it. And then I'm going to do the two pieces right here and put those together. just like that okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the doors on and for the doors I don't want them closed so I'm going to do one kind of like this all the way open a little bit like this and I'm going to put some glue down the side a decent amount and have I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit and leave that open a tad let me move something over here so this will hold it while I move on to the next part okay so I have that holding 
it in place. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm a mess. Then this one I kind of want kind of closed. And I like how the wood is warped. Because then it doesn't look perfect. Because it's for the fairies. So, glue down one side. And put it right there. And let it sit for a couple minutes. Now, here's the thing. You can still put some items in here. You can also make it where you buy little hinges so you can open the cabinets and all. I just wanted this to be kind of simple. And I wanted one door open and one door closed. So, here's my button. Take my button. Jib jab that on. Right there. It's coming around so nicely. Now I'm going to do the button on the other side of the door. Sorry, I keep slamming that down. I don't mean to. And here's my other button. Okay? So here is... It's a little uneven. I believe that the door might be too long. So I got my Mongo cutters which I don't need for this, but I am going to trim down my doors. I believe they are too long. Oh, and now I'm breaking it. So good job. So trimming down the doors. Let's see how this looks. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it stands up a little better. Not perfect. So let me... these cut a little more and I'm going to reinforce this door keeps falling in so I want to reinforce this door right here now let's see oh my gosh how cute is that I'm so excited okay so here is your little cabinet now you can decorate it any way you'd like you don't have to decorate it. It's entirely up to you. But I am going to eventually be making items to put inside of here. And, you know, I just want this to be the most awesome dollhouse I've ever made. So, here's the cabinet. I'm going to worry about embellishing it later. Because I have a couple other things I'd like to jump into. Which is really cool. So, now we're going to make a wheelbarrow. And I had purchased at the Dollar Tree. Remember Potpourri? <laughs> um, where everybody had it in their house and it smelled so lovely. Well, look at all the cute items that are in here. Just different things. You can use this for your dollhouse. So, I took the largest... I have no clue what this is and a button I have two sticks that should be the same length and they are four and a half inches long two sticks and then I have two other sticks I have to find them I don't know if these are them they might be nope these are not them so first, before I even worry about the other two sticks, because I think I'm going to have to cut new ones, you, you basically want to glue your nut, whatever this is, onto your stick. And you want your stick to be slanted because you want it to go towards your wheel, hence this. So I'm going to put the button on one of the sticks and then I'm going to do the other one maybe I'll wait I'll do this first so I'm going to do my wheelbarrow with the I don't know seed 
flower shell. I have no idea. If anybody knows what this is and would like to tell me, I would be happy to be informed. So you're going to put, you don't want it straight because it's a wheelbarrow and you kind of want it kind of sideways if I can say that right if that's correct I know what I'm thinking so I'm going to just let that little guy just sit there for a couple minutes then I'm going to do this part and stick that right there and you want it to go over to the button so we're going to put some glue on the button take our stick that fell off and adhere the stick to the shell. I'm going to call it a shell. Thinking I don't want it that wide. I'm just saying because that's too wide. So let's just glue these two together right like this. Okay? Don't do it the way I was just saying because I'm not liking that. Because then their arms would be like really, really far away. So, once you have this glued and there, it's kind of in a V, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to add some more glue for my wheelbarrow. And then I'm going to take my shell and I'm going to put it on top. I think it will be fine. So, my shell, my seed, whatever I got out of the potpourri bag right there and then once that's on there I want to do two little legs coming down so that my wheelbarrow will look like a wheelbarrow and you know how your wheelbarrow sits there so I need to find I have this so I am going to just cut this in half Oh my goodness, I am having issue. Okay. Okay. I just don't want it to shoot across the room either. But I have the strength of a chipmunk. So that kind of is a problem. Alright. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, that's not working. I tried to break it with my hands. Like I said, it went flying. Alright, so I'm going to pick them up and we will get on to what we were doing. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take some glue and you're going to glue it close to the handles and you're going to put a little leg on, just like this. Oh, my lanta. Okay. So, you just want this to harden. Okay? And then you want to do the other one. You want them about in the same spot. Once they harden, you can see. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to firm that up with some more glue so that they don't keep falling off. Just give it a couple seconds. Harden, and here is your wheelbarrow. Now, I want to take some twine. And I'd like to wrap it around the handles. So, how cute is this? I'm 
so excited. Um, I just want to have it look, you know, like a wheelbarrow should. So, I have my twine and my scissors. So, I'm going to cut equal parts of string. And I am going to wrap the string around each handle. So I'm going to give that a couple seconds to dry because I really don't want to burn myself. And I'm just going to let that sit there for a couple seconds. I'm thinking what I'm going to do with this wheelbarrow is put some fake flowers in here, which I do have some, so let me get them while that's dry. I have leaves and fake flowers, so that's pretty exciting. And I think this would add to our wheelbarrow. So I have a bunch of little flowers. So let me push this down. Wrap it around and glue it on. I don't want to burn myself. Alright, we're going to use a little stick because that's what I have handy. So, you want to just push it on there. Once it cools down some, you can touch it like I'm doing. But, okay. And I am going to wrap around this one. And it only goes once, which is fine for my fairies. So I'm good with that. I'm just looking for cuteness and items to be around my fairy house. And it is so expensive to buy these items that... I am so excited to bring you these tutorials. If there's an item that you would like for your dollhouse, your kid's dollhouse, whatever it is, please leave me something in the comments and I will figure out how to make it. Because And hopefully I'll be making items that you actually want for your dollhouse or your child's dollhouse or your fairy house. So I cut two more things of string, and I'm going to wrap it here. So, oh my goodness, I just knocked him off. So I will have to redo that in a minute, but I am manhandling this poor thing, and I shouldn't be. So... I want to wrap it around so that, oh my goodness, it looks more rustic. So there you go. Now I'm going to add some glue to both of these pieces. It's actually easier, I think, without the little shell on there. Because as you can see, I totally goofed this up. So that stinks. So there's the one piece. And here's the other one. And I'm going to glue it up here. And my little stick. I just think the little extra things make it more of a home for your dollhouse, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to just sit here for a couple seconds, and hopefully this will eventually dry in this century. Okay, 
So there's that. Now I'm going to take the other one. And I'm going to put that right here. And wait a couple seconds. And now I can touch it because it's not going to burn my flesh. And wrap this around my handle and add some glue. Now if you don't like the little wispies on here, you can always use a lighter to get rid of them. You can use crazy glue, anything you'd like so that it stays together. If I was going to be selling these or giving these to someone for their dollhouse that they might be playing with, I absolutely would be using glue that's going to stay on there. Not just hot glue because it's not going to stay on. So now I'm going to put glue again right here. Take my little shell and put it right there. And I have several little flowers, which is kind of cool, to put in my wheelbarrow. I have some leaves. I'm so glad I never throw anything out. My husband's not really happy about it, but I am. Some more little flowers. And then I have these beautiful flowers. I don't know what the heck these yellow things are, but I'll use them also. So I'm going to cut off one of these long stems. And then I'm going to cut the little yellow flower whatever that may be and I'm going to take some of this green because I'd like this in my wheelbarrow also so let me move that out of the way so oh my goodness okay so here's our wheelbarrow you can put everything in there any way you'd like I want to use this entire flower so I am gluing it around kind of the sides of my wheelbarrow and then a leaf stem item and then pretty pink flowers I don't know if I'm going to stick all these in here because I don't want to take away from what my wheelbarrow looks like. Just stick this yellow one right in here. And of course I'm going to use some of this because I cut it and now I have to use it because I cut it. So there you go. There's your wheelbarrow. Easy peasy lemon squeezy so that's done so now <laughs> we're going to make a crib and i'm pretty excited about it, this okay so like i did before i cut everything early so this isn't a forever long video so i have quite a bit of items for my crib. So here we go. I have two. I have them, they're kind of angled and I put pearls on them. And there's two of them. These are going to be the rocking part of the cradle. I'm going to say four and a half inches, both of them. Then I took these little pearls, one fell off, and I glued the little pearls 
right on there. You want them kind of even. So here they are. Okay? Right here. Two curved sticks. Now, for the base of the cradle, you're going to want your length to be about three and three quarters. Your width almost two and a half. Okay, so you're going to want to build a box. So you're basically going to need four of these and four of these. And we're going to get started. So since this is the bottom, this is how this is going to go. But I'm not going to do that right now because I want to build up my cradle. So I'm going to need to do the exact same thing another time. So let's make sure I have the right sticks because I have several sticks here. And there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to glue. That's too long. Got to be too long. Glue these together. I'm going to put this here so they're the same length. So right about here. Okay, so bless you puppy. So I'm going to put some glue here and some glue here and then I'm going to take my sticks and put them right there. Just like that. You're going to want them wider because I'm noticing that this is wider. So make them wider. Oh my goodness, it's stuck to the table. So you want them about pretty much the same as up top. The width of everything. This one is not staying on. Plus it wasn't over far enough. I needed it over further. So right about here I'm thinking. So here's this. Now I need another glue stick which I have right here. And you need to do the exact same thing on the bottom to make it a square. I believe this is too long, but we could do it this way. Went like that. So glue, glue. Okay. So here's one. And here's the other. So you have two of these, two of these, and you're going to need a bunch of little sticks. I don't exactly know how many. I just started cutting, and here they are. And and get started putting it together. You're going to need four sticks about four inches long. So I don't want to put these on the rocker thing yet because I just don't want it to fall apart because I'm not using heavy duty glue. So I'm going to put some glue right here and take one of my sticks and hold it right here. Try to get it as straight as possible. It doesn't actually have to be four inches. I gave it four inches so that I could cut some off if it's too long, which I'm okay with, but if it's too short, I can't do anything. So that's why I said four inches. So another stick in this corner and as you can tell this stick is much shorter than the other stick and I like using the sticks for a whimsical baby um, carriage no bedding bedding sorry baby bed baby bed 
baby bed. So here's another one. It'll go right here. You can always cut this, which is awesome. So I'm just going to sit here and do this. Okay. I would really appreciate it if you could get your friends, family to subscribe to my channel. If you could, if you're just stopping by, if you could subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. Um, like, comment. It helps me. I really enjoy making crafts. And I'm, of course, going to continue to make crafts. But I just would really, really like it if I could get more subscribers and more people would chat with me so I would know if they want me to make something because if you want me to make something I'm on it so now we're going to take our other piece of the four and I am going to put a glue right here for now and right there and I'm going to hold this this is going to look like a baby um, baby's bed a cradle I believe it's called never had a cradle for my children they slept in a crib alright I'm lying they didn't sleep in a crib I was too anal <sighs> I had them sleep with me and I never slept because I was so worried something would happen okay so and I have two sons three if you count my stepson love them to death so here's how it's looking right now now we go to the other side we're going to want to make this even 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 add some glue put it right there I didn't realize how much fun making miniature items for a dollhouse are. And when I was younger, oh my goodness, I was obsessed with Barbie. And, you know, we weren't the rich people in, in the neighborhood. And I wish I knew how to do crafts back then because my Barbie would have had the most awesome stuff in her house if I could have made it. Now, we are going to do the middle so you're going to want to take sticks and put them here you want them long enough to go across just like that i'm not going to do them all the way back to back to back to back i'd like a little bit of space in between to give it more dimension but I am just taking little sticks putting them on here that's too small and doing the bottom part of my crayon so I have I didn't measure because I'm going to cut these but I have five of the sticks right here and now I'm going to add glue so a little dab will do you of course it's on the wrong side but you can turn it over so there you go so I should probably move these to put these on because you know it's, there's the one on the one side that one's on there too. No. So I'm just going to put little dots all the way down so that I can put my sticks right on here. You can put them any way you want. If you want them real close together, 
it's your choice. It's your dollhouse. It's it's your imagination. It and that's the fun thing. It's it's whatever you can imagine, which is just outstanding, because you get to. That's why I like crafting because it's not long. It's what I like. So, and I can express myself and honest to goodness when stuff's going on in my house or, you know, I'm not feeling right, having a bad awful day, doing crafts helps me release the stress, which is good because, you know, you shouldn't have stress because it's not good for your health. So... So once you get those all on there, turn it this way. Oopsie. Now mind you, these aren't going to be the legs, so they don't have to be straight. I am just turning it over so that I could add glue to this side. And then I'm going to push my pieces up. I have a big glob of glue here, so I'm going to put it right there. And then I'm going to add more glue there and okay so here it is so far so right now everything is like really too long and I don't like it so I want to I think these will bend a little oh my land kind of want to make it curve you know what I found a curve never mind don't listen to me I was trying to bend them which was making it come off the crib wow, that's hot. so instead of bending anything because it's not going to work out anyway I'm going to I'm going to take this bent stick and put it, how perfect is this? Didn't think it was going to happen. Okay. So, I'm going to do that right there. So, add glue here. Glue here. This is that horrible glue I told you guys about in the past video that I got. And it just is the stringiest glue in all the land. I don't like it. But I will not not use it because I paid for it. So, and if you're wondering what the name of that glue is, I don't know right now. But in the other video, I can't remember what video it was, um, I discuss and show you the bag of the hot glue sticks that I bought and I believe I got them at Walmart and they're very stringy and very annoying so that's going to be the top of our crib yay now these are way too long see like I said see the strings I don't know if you see them but they're everywhere okay so I'm going to take my scissors and cut my twigs and if anything comes loose just glue it down again that's why I'm saying if you're giving these items to a, a little person or a collector it'd be better to use glue that's going to stay and hot glue is not going to stay so I mean for decoration absolutely and just for video purposes, sure. But if you somebody wants to play with the dollhouse, it's not going to pan out well. The child will be crushed that the items fell apart. We don't want that. So, okay. Now, these right here, too tall, we're going to cut them off. okay now what I want to do is take these sticks items what 
whatever you want to call them, and I want to put them on the sides all around my grip. No rhyme or reason, just want it on there. You don't want your baby to fall out, right? You want to make sure they're long enough, too, because I don't know where these goofy little pieces came from. I thought I measured everything, but apparently I did not. So, too long, just cut it a little bit. Long's good. Too short, that kind of stinks. So, just doing a little dab of glue will do you. Putting it on. Oh my goodness, see this string? I don't know if you see this string. It makes me crazy. This stringy, stringy stuff. I can't wait till I run out of this stuff. Honest to goodness. So, okay. I'm going to turn this around so I'm not touching that side right now. I'm going to work on this side because there's so much glue there. I'm going to glue these on and I'll come back before I do the next part. Here's our cradle. Ready to go. Here is our little rocking part. So I'm going to put glue on my pearl and glue on this pearl and put it right here. And I'm going to have to wait. Well, actually, I could do it this way. Ha ha. Well, that doesn't really work because it's crooked, but here we go. And then the other one. And then put it here. Okay, give it a couple seconds. I have some embellishments. I have this leaf. I have no idea what it's from it forever. I'm going to use this cute little flower. I'm going to use this butterfly to put on my cradle and I believe I'm going to add some other flowers. So let's see if our cradle rocks. Not so much. Not so much. But I still think it's cute. So my leaf I'm going to put right here. I'm going to hot glue that right there. Glue on the bottom, the pointy part, glue on the top, and put it right there. Right like that. Okay, this is, I thought it would lean on something, but it's not, so I have to put it behind it. I have that little leaf on there. I'm going to put the butterfly is just going to be like right here hanging out because it's flying. And this little flower I am going to put right here on my cradle and I'm going to add I believe a little bit of moss and some of this potpourri because it has some neat stuff in here you know I, I have no idea what half of it is but when you're making miniature items it comes in handy and, and and just think about how much how many 
accent pieces you can get out of a bag of potpourri. Who would have thought of that? I was so excited when I found my potpourri. I was like, yes. It's the little things. Okay. So. Here, and it smells pretty, too. So, I have no idea what these are. I, I have no idea. But, actually, I'm thinking, let me dump this out, that I want to use that to line the bottom of my bed. I don't even know if I'm going to glue that in there. But, look at how cute is this. Oh, my gosh. I am just having the best time. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos, but I am absolutely having such a good time doing these crafts. They're just fun. If I wish I would have thought about this earlier, I could have had the house done. So, I am lining the bed with... I have no idea. So... Now the whole bottom is kind of covered. Let's see if I can find some more. I might not have any more of whatever that is in here. But I do. I have more. Yay me. So there's that. And then I have these really cute little flowers. Right here. And I'm going to glue these around my little cradle okay put that one there and I'm going to do two more on the bottom where I have on the other side. And this one over here. Okay. And what else can we do? These are cute little leaves. They look like little leaves to me. So, I am going to glue and right on wherever. I have no idea. This looks like a dried leaf also. But I think it gives it a whimsical effect. And whoops. Not enough time to dry. Oh my goodness. And some more whatever this is. And I'm telling you, it smells nice. And the smell is coconut and citrus. I love coconut. Oh my goodness. I pulled the string and my leaf came off, which I did not want. There you go. He's back on. No, he's not. He fell off. He jumped ship. So, some more here. Oh my gosh. I am having such a good time. I gotta stop saying that about how much I'm enjoying making these. But I am having a good time. And that's kind of cool. So. A little baby bed with some goofy stuff all over the place. Okay, so, since we pretty much embellished everything, but we did not embellish our little cabinet that we made today, I need to do that. I'm feeling I need to do that. So, here's our little cabinet, right? And I have a bunch of these little items in here. Little doodads that I picked up over the years. Which is kind of awesome. Look at how cute that is. 
I am going to hang one of these jobbies. Okay, so I put the little ball right in the middle. It spins. Sweet. And I have so much stuff. So much. It's a little bumblebee. I don't know if I need another bumblebee. But I do need some fall foliage. Not fall foliage. Holy moly. I need some moss. I need a little bit of moss. It doesn't have to be a lot. Just a little to be on my little door here. You know, put some up here. On here. Um, I don't have anything made to put inside. But I was thinking of like cutting little towels or you know something to put in there but or books I have made some books and I did a tutorial on that so I could put books in there I could put my little pencils in there too remember the little pencils we made at the beginning of this okay let's see if they'll fit Hold on. They might fit in their little container. And that will be totally scrumptious. So give me a second. Oh, my goodness. I knocked our cabinet over. Okay. So, I don't know if that's going to fit now because they're too tall. The pencils are too tall. I could always not have them in here and just lay the pencils inside the thing but I don't know if you'd know that they were pencils because the other side's closed so no we're not going to do that I'm not having that so yeah just decorate it any way you see fit I would like to put some stuff on the back too back here so I'm going to put a little bit more moss back here just wherever I am so enjoying this bag of, how interesting is that? This bag of potpourri. So, I'm going to put this right here. Oh my goodness, so cute. I need more of this up here. It's not sticking. So, there we go. There it is. I'm not, I'm not ready to decorate the inside right now because I don't have the items on me. But, there it is. So, I'm going to come back in a little bit and we'll go over what we've made. So, while I was getting everything together so that I could take a couple pictures of the end results, I decided to add some tool to the baby's bassinet, crib, cradle, and I didn't want just, you know, it's just sitting there. So what I did was I put this little heart charm on there, and I added some pearls and then I added tool all the way around the back I don't know if you can see yes I guess you can and then I did underneath so here's the cradle here's our wheelbarrow the cutest little pencils in the whole wide world and our cabinet and I put a little mushroom on the side so thanks so much for watching have a blessed day and I'll see you again very soon
Bye.